of those of you that don't know me, my name's Andy. Uh, I direct the Two Things production and I'm a teacher at A3. Uh, I have a couple of really easy jobs tonight. Uh, the first is to warn you that we use two simulated firearms in this show and we shoot six simulated gunshots, um, so no need to panic. Um, secondly, uh, I want to remind you to please silence your cell phones, pagers, beepers, babies, anything that might make noise during the show. Hit the off button on that, we would deeply appreciate it. Um, finally, uh, I want to thank you for being here to support live theater at A3. Uh, we have... Yeah, um, we have one more show this year. I wish I knew the dates, I would tell you, but I don't. Uh, it's called Too Much Light Makes the Baby Go Blind, and it is a one-of-a-kind theatrical experience. I promise you will not want to miss it. It's the weekend uh, of the 12th. The weekend of the 12th. In April. It's a theater moment April. Here, you can tell. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate you being here, and I hope you enjoy the show. What is it ye would see, if aught of woe or wonder sees your search? So let me speak to the yet unknowing world how these things came about. So shall you hear of carnal, bloody, and unnatural acts, accidental judgments, casual slaughters, and deaths put on by cunning and forced cause. And in this upshot, purposes mistook, fallen on the inventor's reeds. All this can I truly deliver, but let the same be presently performed, even when men's minds are wild, lest more mischance on plots and errors happen. More on me, thy hour is almost come, when I am to sulfurous, tormenting flames must render up my yes. Pity me not. But let thy serious hearing what I shall unfold. Hail to your ladyship. I'm glad to see you well, Horatio. I do forgive myself. The same, my lady, and your poor servant ever. Oh, gee, my good friend, I'll change that name of you. But when didst thou arrive? I have not seen you. Oh, only yesterday, but you've been busy. Well, I'm glad to see you. But what in faith made you from Wittenberg? A true disposition, my lady. I would not hear your enemy say so. Nor will you do mine ear that violence to make a trust of your own report. Against yourself, I know you are no truant. My lady, I came to see your mother's funeral. Pray, do not mock me, fellow student. I think it was to see my father's wedding. Indeed, my lady, it followed hard upon. Oh, thrift, thrift, Theresia. Funeral baked meats will coldly furnish forth the marriage table. Oh, that I had met my dearest foe in heaven. Wherever I had seen that day, Horatio. My mother. Methinks I see my mother. Where, my lady? In my mind's eye, Horatio. I shall not look upon her like again. My lady. I think I saw her yesterday. Saw who? My lady. The queen. Your mother. Queen, my mother. Just last night, while on my walk was I, in the dead vast mill the night thus encountered, a figure like your mother appeared before me, and with solemn march went slow and stately by me. Thrice she walked. Did you not speak to it? My lady, I did, but answer made it none. Yet once me thought it lifted up its head and did address itself in motion like as it would speak, then vanished from my sight. Tis very strange that I do live my other lady, tis true. Indeed, indeed, dear. But this troubles me. Oh, I would I had been there. It would have much amazed you. Very like, very like. I will walk with you tonight, for chance will come again. I warrant it will. If it assume my noble mother's person, I'll speak to it, though hell itself should gape and bid me hold my peace. If you have hitherto concealed this sight, let it be tenable in your silence still. I will requite your love. 